Hi, I'm Laura and I'm just going to give you a little insight into puppy walking. I've been puppy walking for 12 years now. Um, hounds are quite a huge part of my life. Um, I'm married to Gareth Bowe who is huntsman for this time with Warden Chase. So thankfully we both love hounds um, as much as each other. This is Thornton and this is Thistle. They arrived with me when they were nine weeks old. Um, all hound puppies arrive around nine, ten weeks old once they've had their first vaccinations and they go off to their puppy walkers. When they arrive they're a lot smaller than this. Um, they're little bundles that you can carry in both arms and they just grow before your eyes. Um, Thornton and Thistle are now five months old. You usually have hound puppies for probably probably till they're about seven or eight months old. So I usually find by the time they're sort of getting towards that age, they're ready they're ready to go back into their pack really. They might start jumping out of the pen or they might just start wandering um, wandering off a bit further than you'd like. Um, and they, they are pack animals so they they really want to be in a pack and they just get to that point you just know they just start sort of they just change and you just know that point when you think you need to make that sad phone call to the huntsman or to just ask them to come and pick them up and take them back into kennels but that's a that's a really sad day when they have to go back so every year you get sent two hounds well you call them couples so this is like one couple of hounds so the the hunt staff will count them in couples rather than like 20 hounds that will be um 10 couple of hounds um so you might be sent one couple of puppies or you might be sent two couple of puppies or you might be sent one and a half couple of puppies every year is slightly different depending on litter sizes and i'm quite fortunate in having a large pen and a large area to walk them on so I will quite often have more than um, just one couple but this year I've just got Thornton and Thistle um, we might have I might have another litter um, come out to walk once these um, are old enough to go back into kennels um, and I might have some more um, it all depends really um, but I've walked 27 couple of puppies now I think it is um both for the Vista and for the Brocklesby. Um and the Vista hounds are a more modern type of hound. Um so they're predominantly more probably white. They do have colour in them, but they are whiter where these are um an old English cross um with a modern so there's quite a bit of old English showing in these guys. Um, they're darker, quite a lot of black on them. Um, so I've walked both types, you know, the old English and the modern. Um, I must admit, I am probably more swayed towards an old English type. We all have favourites, we shouldn't, but we do have favourites and I do love a bit of an old English um, hound. Um, I also adore the fluffy Welsh hounds. Um, I've walked quite a few of those in the past. Um, they're really woolly and they're just absolutely gorgeous and they have the most amazing temperament. Um, last year, a, a hound that really stuck in my mind was a bitch called Charming. Charming could, I've never quite had a hound like her. She could just jump for England and I could not keep her in anywhere. We had to really barricade the pen up. Um, it was quite funny really. Her brother uh, Churchill, he, he wasn't like that. He was he was pretty good. He didn't jump out, but she could really jump. You always find the bitches are probably a little bit naughtier than the dog hounds. Um, I find the old English are, um, the old English hounds that I've walked, they're quite independent. So you just have to keep quite a close eye on them really that you know they don't sort of push their boundaries too far and you don't end up losing them too many times because yeah they do like to go off on their on their own sort of adventures um i've yeah i've walked when i've got my first puppies um back in 2008 um patrick martin who was huntsman of, of the vista with one chase at the time 
he asked me if I could walk pound puppies and it was uh, I was so thrilled to be asked um I had no idea what to expect but um we walked them in my mum's vegetable garden which is here behind us um there wasn't much left of the vegetable garden once they left um they had a great time in there and um, the first two hounds that I walked were called Rosewood and Rolock. Um, they really stick with me. You do have certain ones that stick with you, but I think your first two hound puppies, you know, really do stick with me because it's been quite a long journey since I first walked them and I've had lots of different hounds here every year and it is, it is such a fantastic experience. So one of the exciting days of the year for puppy walkers is the puppy show. Um, you can get all dressed up in, in all your summer dresses and hopefully it's a lovely warm day like today. Um, sometimes it's not and it's absolutely chucking it down the rain but nevertheless you get in your, your smart dress and um, you go to the puppy show where the huntsman will um, show your hounds that you walked the previous year. So they would have been back at the kennels for probably six months um maybe a bit longer depending on what time of year you had them um and they'll probably be about a year old might be a little bit older than a year old just just depends really on when what time of year they were born and they'll be shown off um at the kennels um it's always quite a big big day really um and there will be a judge a judge huntsman or master there that will be judging the hounds um and the huntsman will show them off and you'll sort of there'll be all the puppies from that from that year that were born um, and all the all the puppy walkers there and you might be lucky enough to win a prize um, I have been fortunate enough to win a couple of prizes with, with, with the hounds I've walked um, and also the hound from the previous year to that that you walked you might be awarded best working hound and um, best working hound is definitely the prize that you would want to win if you're a puppy walker um, it is for me anyway because it just shows that you put a lot of a lot of time and effort into that hound and it's been the, the best working hound um of that year so that that's another great great prize to win um it's not about the prizes though you do it for the love and they're such fantastic characters and you have such great fun with them. Um, every year we get um, given a, a silver spoon and you get the silver spoon which has the year that they were born and um, or the year that they were entered um, into the pack and their name and that's a really nice memento to keep. Um, I have all my spoons um, on, a, on a spoon rack and it's so nice to look back at all the years and all the puppies that you've walked. Can you give them a point? Yeah! So Harry's two and as you can see actually loves the hound puppies and they love him just as much I think. <laughs> they're so soft for them, they're absolutely fantastic with children. So a massive part of puppy walking is obviously walking them, not just having them in a lovely pen like this. Um, so once they've got used to their collars and they're sort of old enough to go on sort of longer daily walks, which they are now, um, I'll just pop one on a lead and leave one off a lead and just swap and change them. So they just get used to like coming back to you and they're just at the age now where they're probably pushing boundaries a little bit more and you know, if both of them offer a lead, then you know, they might just keep pushing that boundary and, and they just quite easily can sort of throw a deafen. Um, they definitely have selective hearing when they want to. Um, so Thornton's absolutely brilliant on a lead. So we'll just pop him on a lead and then um, Bissell will just sort of come along um, come along with us and I'll usually take George, um, our Labrador, and he runs with them and they think that's absolutely brilliant fun. They love George. Um, so come on then, Thornton. So now I've swapped them over and I've got Thistle on the lead. So they just have like, both have a bit of time on the lead each. It's good practice and good to like get them to come back to you and listen to their name as well. But they're both really good on the lead, so that makes life a lot easier. 
Thornton Thistle are just having their dinner. Um, they get fed morning and evening. Um, they get fed a mixture of biscuit with tin meat. Um, I also um, feed water with it because they do like to eat quite fast. Um, when they're small, um, the biscuit gets soaked before um, before they get fed the feed, um, just so it's nice and mushy for them. And then as they get older, it, it doesn't need soaking, it just, just gets fed with water. Um, they also have um, raw meat in their diet as well. Um, the raw meat is really good for them and it puts really good condition on them as they're growing, um, uh, you know, because they grow so fast. So the raw meat is a really good addition um, to the biscuit and the tin meat that they get. Also, as a puppy walker, I find it really nice when you can go to the meat and your puppy will probably be there in the pack or your puppies will be there in the pack of hounds stood at the meat and they'll come out from the pack and they'll come and make a fuss of you and that's so special because they do, they remember you and you were their mummy that you gave all the fun times to when they were a puppy growing up so they do, they remember you and that's a really, really special thing um, Thornton um, and also when you see them out working, trail hunting um, doing their job that's that's an amazing sight as well and it really makes you proud of all the hard work that you put in to walking them so it's really important that we must keep campaigning alongside the countryside lions to keep hounds here to keep things like you know me puppy walking these hounds to keep that going it's so important that we must all work together and work alongside the countryside lions who are doing the most fantastic job um, for hunting and for, for our hounds and for our hunt staff. Um, I've got my son Harry who I want to be able to have, I want him to be able to have the opportunity to walk puppies or maybe follow in daddy's footsteps and be a huntsman too. Um, but we must, we must keep, keep campaigning and, and keep, keep going together.